If it was all in my head, how did I cut my hand? I would never ruin Antonio's night. Is that really what you think? What I think is that today was very hard for you. <sighs> Whatever. I wish you could see yourself the way I do. You are perfect. Just like this. You're just as special as anyone else in this family. Mm -hmm. You just healed my hand with an arepa con queso. Ooh, I can cook that. Maybe not with all the magical healing properties, but I was also given the gift of cooking, so I might as well use it. Start by mixing pre-cooked white cornmeal or masa arepa with sea salt, melted butter, and whole milk. Then we'll use our hands to mix everything together to form a crumbly consistency. Masa arepa is a type of cornmeal that is pre-cooked before it gets to the milling process, meaning it can absorb liquids and ultimately takes on a different texture when formed into a soft dough that can be easily shaped. Next, we can slowly start adding warm water to the bowl in a steady stream while mixing with our hands. At first, it will feel like you've added way too much water, but just keep mixing. The masa arepa will absorb a lot of the excess water and eventually come together into a soft dough ball. Let the dough rest for a few minutes to allow the masa arepa to fully absorb the liquids and continue to soften. When ready to make our arepas, we can grab our shredded fresco cheese to stuff in the middle. First, pinch off a few tablespoons of the arepa dough and roll and flatten the dough into a disc shape. Repeat the same process with the second ball of dough. Pile a tablespoon or two of the fresco cheese onto the center of the second disc and then place the first disc on top and pinch together the edges to seal the cheese in the middle. Transfer the arepas over to a griddle or cast iron skillet over medium heat and lightly cook the arepas for four to five minutes per side or until the sides are toasted through and the cheese is melted in the center. Even the arepas are happy to be here. The arepas can be topped off with sea salt or sprinkled with extra fresco cheese. These arepas have a slightly crisp exterior, but are soft and doughy in the center. Plus, if you use enough cheese, you can get a fancy cheese pull out of them. What fictional feast should I make next? Let me know in the comments. Do you ever get hungry? You can find this recipe and many more with ingredient amounts and step-by-step -step instructions over on thestarvingchefblog.com. If you liked this video, don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell so you can be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. I'm about to go on a little bit of a summer vacation and you guys will have to find out where I'm going in my upcoming videos. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode.